what are some of the events that we've been doing and we are doing? Well, some of the events that, that we've been doing, which is really important for the congregational life, is the gathering of those hampers and those toys, finding people who really need them so that we can really express that generosity of God to people that are in need. Uh, they're one of the things. Some of the other things that we've done are engaging with the local community, doing fun things, sharing that festivity, and in the middle of all of that, pointing to how Jesus uh, is just so wonderful. And been doing something in the city streets, haven't you, as well, with people. Give, uh, I don't know how you may make making the connection, but making connection with people. Well, that's right, yeah. One of the things that uh, has been a lot of fun for us is organising a special Christmas activity in the centre uh, for families mm. to be able to come along and mm. have something to do with their children to mm. engage with Christmas and its meaning in community together. And big services today and tomorrow? Very big services. There's something for everyone. If someone comes into Wesley, they'll see that there's a lot of celebration going on. Mm -hmm. uh, whether people speak English or Mandarin or Bahasa Indonesian. Mm. Uh, and for some that are interested in Samoan as well, mm. uh, which is another site, mm. there's a lot of opportunities for people to celebrate Christmas mm. Mm. together. And, and I like to think that we have a constant open door when it comes to all these things, don't we? Definitely. Uh, in, the, in the films that we saw, we saw people in need and we know that that's a, a real thing. And sometimes it can be hidden behind a facade, can't it? You know, uh, as well as people coming because they've got obvious needs, for other people it's hidden away, isn't it? Mm, yes, it is. And, and, and it's very important that we can find a way of, oh, not breaking through the facade, but being able to provide help. Um, how long have you been a member of our team now at Wesley Mission? started uh, as a member of the team in 2001. And, and during that time, um, what have you learned most of all during your time at Wesley Mission? Uh, that's a really tough question. Uh, but I would say that in the grand scheme of things, uh, this is going to sound really cliche, but really Jesus is the answer. Uh, that uh, what people long for uh, in the middle of their loneliness and brokenness is community and love and meaning and purpose and that Jesus and, and his church is the answer to that. Mm. Why do you think it's hard sometimes for people to understand that and, and receive it? Do you think there are things that prevent us from seeing that and hearing that? I think so. A part of the challenge of, of not being able to see that is sometimes the, the loneliness and brokenness can be overwhelming and we feel that there's no hope, there's no way through. Uh, sometimes we might turn to other things in the hope that they'll be the answer. Mm. Uh, whereas we discover at the end of that uh, road that it wasn't what we'd hoped for. And so there are some of the reasons that perhaps it's difficult for people to discover the hope and, and life and truth that, that can come from God. And because we're in the city centre, and, and I've always thought this is an important part and thing for us to be in the city centre, we're very conscious that life just goes on around almost mm. on a 24-hour cycle, doesn't it, of, of people coming in. Yes. It's so easy to miss the real message, isn't it? Yes, that's right, that's right. Because Sydney can be such a, a lonely, isolating place, even though there's so many people around, uh, there can be a lot of disconnectedness. And so uh, people can be very lonely without appearing lonely in that sense. You mentioned some of those cultural groups that are part of our Wesley Mission family, and I think this is an important part of our work in every sense. Do you think many people who come to Australia from other cultures are almost shocked at the way that, that, that we do all these things? I think so. Uh, people uh, might come along to Sydney on a, uh, on a visit, on a holiday, and not realise that there's so much diversity in Sydney. And what I love about Wesley Mission is the, that we reflect a lot of that diversity, uh, mm -hmm. not just in terms of the culture and ethnicities, but even in terms of the demographic as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. um, what will be the theme uh, of, of the things that you'll be doing over Christmas? What's the theme of what it is you're wanting to communicate? Uh, well, for us, uh, really, our hope is that people could really experience the life and the love uh, and the hope that comes with Christmas. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, the world can be such uh, a sad place. We hear about some of the things that we see on the news and uh, we can feel hopeless or helpless. For us, it's really about helping people experience that hope and seeing that hope.